ice is solid. Solids have definite shapes and volumes. Why can't you walk on water, just like you did on the snow? You can't walk on water because it is a liquid, and liquids do not have definite shapes. However, liquids do have definite volumes. Liquids also take up the shape of the container they are in. Watch out for those clouds. There could be heavy turbulence in them. Can you sit on the clouds or surf on them as you would do on snow or in water? You can't, because clouds are made of water vapor, which is the gaseous state of water. Gases do not have definite shapes or volumes. This lesson is about the states of matter and how matter is composed of particles, whose behavior determines the states of matter. On completion of this lesson. You will be able to define the word matter, list the properties of solids, liquids, and gases, list the attributes of the particles of matter, and explain the three states of matter in terms of the attributes of the particles of matter. Before we move on, let's look at the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. Solids. Solids have definite shape and volume. Cannot be compressed except porous solids. Particles do not flow. Diffuse slowly. High force of attraction between particles. Very less intermolecular space. Liquids. Liquids take the shape of the container and have definite volume. Cannot be compressed. Particles flow. Diffuse fast. Less force of attraction between particles. More intermolecular space. Gases. Gases have no definite shape and volume. Can be compressed easily. Particles flow easily. Diffuse very fast. Very less force of attraction between particles. Large intermolecular forces. Why does matter exist in the form of solids, liquids, and gases? What is matter? Matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. All physical objects are composed of matter. So, is matter made up of something? Yes, matter is made up of small particles. Is this grain of sand a particle that you're talking about? No, that grain can be further broken into smaller particles, which are not visible to the naked eye. Those are the particles I'm talking about, and they explain why matter exists in the form of solids, liquids, and gases. Particles in matter are in a constant state of random motion, and hence they possess kinetic energy. They also attract each other, but this mutual force of attraction is effective only when the particles are very close to each other. When the particles are bound together firmly, as you can see here, they form solids. In solids, the particles simply vibrate about their fixed positions, because their kinetic energy is low. And not enough to let them break away from their mutual force of attraction. Therefore, solids have definite shapes and volumes. For the same reason, they do not flow or diffuse. In liquids, the kinetic energies of the particles are more than in solids, and the particles are not bound to any fixed positions. They move around freely at random throughout the liquid. However, They do not have enough kinetic energy to break out of the boundary of the liquid mass. That explains why liquids do not have definite shapes and flow or diffuse freely, but they do have definite volumes. Also, compared to solids, there are more spaces between the particles of liquids, but not enough to make liquids compressible. 
In gases, the particles are not packed together at all because their kinetic energies are high enough to let them break away from any boundaries. They are free to move around in random motion. That is why gases have no definite shape or volume and they flow and diffuse easily. They collide with each other and with the walls of their container. That's how a gas exerts pressure on its container. Also because the spaces between the particles are large, gases are highly compressible. Now I understand. Just let me summarize what you said. Solids Solids have definite shape and volume, cannot be compressed except porous solids. Particles do not flow, diffuse slowly. High force of attraction between particles, very less intermolecular space. Liquids Liquids take the shape of the container and have definite volume, cannot be compressed. Particles flow, diffuse fast, less force of attraction between particles, more in the molecular space. Gases Gases have no definite shape and volume, can be compressed easily, particles flow easily, diffuse very fast, very less force of attraction between particles. Large intermolecular space